We're going to Canada. We're going to Canada. I'm gonna turn my phone off in case I get kicked out though. Bell factory. Cameras go off at this point, so we're gonna be doing a lot of crazy stuff in there that we can't let you know about. There with Greg and Danny. Uh, the real crazy stuff will happen after delivery though. That's right. Okay, so I can film in here, right? Yep. This is yep. a little bit crazy because you I didn't know what to expect when you buy a new helicopter because that's like a lifetime purchase and it like gives you anxiety each night that you just bought something so big. But it's too late now. <laughs> I've already paid for it. I've sent them all my money. But we're here in Montreal, Canada, and it was, it was during COVID time, so it wasn't easy getting here. But this is uh, an essential part of the you know, process of getting a helicopter. So look at this cool room. That they've got breakfast here for you. They've got your own private room. And um, right behind me, right here, is a black curtain. And this is like the coolest thing ever. They're going to unveil that and then, yeah, I'm just gonna smile. It's like Christmas morning right here. <laughs> Christmas is. is like next week almost, so. Here we are, it's about to happen and they're just waiting for me to put this phone down and uh, finish my breakfast and then we'll go, we'll go do this thing. Yeah, right there. I love that tail number. I bet the tail number, I, I, that is so cool. <laughs> Holy crap. The Bell logo, I gotta get a picture of that. That is really This is the, okay, so the, yeah, this has the autopilot that doesn't have yaw dampener disconnect. Yep. See, I didn't, have, I've never had that on any helicopter. So you can just kind of trim it out. Uh-huh. So we can fly like a normal plane. Montreal, this is our first test flight of the 505. Make sure it works. It's about five degrees outside, so it's not super warm. Feel comfortable with oh, that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's very good. Oh, we didn't crash, that's a good sign for hey, me. Uh, no, it, was, uh, it was a good flight, thanks yeah. a lot. 
You're Thank the you. pilot. Okay. How many hours are you have? Um, I have total like 850. Yeah, that's great. Uh, mostly on the R66? Yeah, mostly on the R66. So this is easier to fly? Like you yeah, actually, it is. It, just, it feels it, a little different, but it's a lot easier mm, to fly. It's yeah. not so finicky. Yeah, exactly. So, a little bit heavier machine. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And excited. Yeah. Okay. Well, did this thing pass? Absolutely. All right, so it's Danny and I now. <laughs> we're gonna figure out how to fly this thing. And then we're gonna go into New York City, I guess. We'll, we'll just take it a step at a time. All we gotta do is, you know, keep her straight and level. From, we'll figure it out from there. Victor, actually, you want to hand off for New York approach? And uh, we'll just go over 12305 after we leave your airspace and we'll drop down a little bit. 606 X ray, X ray. 606 X ray, X ray, radar service is terminated. Squawk 1200, frequency change approved. All right, frequency change approved. Thanks for your help. Squawk 1200. All right, this is going to be freaking sweet. All we got to do is not miss one of those points, though. Okay. Okay, here we go. What do I say? Okay. 620. So, Bell, southbound. Uh, current position and altitude. So, you see it? You see what I'm gonna say? So, Bell helicopter, southbound, currently at tower. Tower, altitude. Bell helicopter, southbound, 600, tower. Very well done. Dude, that is freaking New York, huh? This oh is, yeah. This is blowing my mind. I think you're going to be right about this, is you're going to hit the edge of the circle. So right when it's directly at your 9 o'clock, you could turn and keep yourself that distance from it. Does that make sense? That right here? Right about here. Bell, 505, Statue of Liberty, frozen in a dream, wondering if we're actually doing what we're doing right now. Right, Pegasus Air. Pegasus? Yeah. Pegasus Air, copy. Going west 30? Uh, yeah, just wondering if you guys are open right now. Oh, uh, we open. Okay, copy. Uh, we're going to come in. Uh, with these north winds, are we able to land north? Yes, sir. It's uh, it is. 5 and 5. What's your, what's your intentions? Uh, landing and staying for an hour. Roger that. About to touch down, you got a foot. All 
All right, guys, it just snowed two feet. Look at this car right here in Manhattan. And it's freaking freezing, but we just flew here and landed at the heliport right on the Hudson, right on the water. And uh, we've been cruising around all night. Statue of Liberty downtown. I mean, a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, we're gonna go grab a pizza and then uh, we'll fly out of here and go find a quieter place to stay tonight. We woke up this morning in Montreal, Canada, and we uh, just picked up a brand new Bell 505. And then we flew across the border to Vermont, Burlington, went to the Burlington Co. Factory and got two coats. <laughs> and then we flew down to New York City, and we're in Manhattan right now. We flew the Hudson, the East River, around the Statue of Liberty, saw the cool buildings then ordered up a pizza and landed like five minutes down the street, right on the Hudson at the heliport. We just need some calories to get us home. Get Danny Sharp on the radios. <laughs> you don't want a hungry, you know, co-pilot. That's just dangerous. Down here in Manhattan, one of the, probably one of the top 10, 20 biggest snowstorms on the east, I don't know, in the last decade. It snowed two feet here in the last 24 hours. Everything shut down, no one's flying. We saw one other person in the air in New York City. That's us and whoever they were. How was it? The most expensive pizza I'll probably ever eat. <laughs> if you include the tie-down fee. <laughs>